Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today it is Australia Day, so happy Australia Day everybody! Now I've actually got, as you can see, my Australia Day hat on. I've also got, I'll stand up, I don't know, I don't know if you can see this, but I got an, my Australia Day t-shirt. I don't have any snacks or knickknacks or anything, apparently they're really bad for me, so... I'm saving them for later. <laughs> but what I do have is some good old Aussie beer. Now, I'll try to drink that as I'm going along today. Now, also, as you can see, I have made a couple of special skins. Now, I'm going to make these available to, every, to anybody who wants to download it. They'll be on the Junior Senior website. I'll put the links down below for you and we'll um, you'll be able to just download these and add them you know to this truck and uh, the link for this truck as well which is the Kenworth T800 by uh, Critchbum he actually contacted me the um, last week I think it was and said that uh, look there's an update to this so you must put in the update so that's what I did I'm now running the update and it has fixed the mirrors now we'll quickly jump in jump inside now if you remember the actual sneak peek for this there was the mirror over on the left hand side that was bright orangey red and it was blinding now that's actually been fixed so that's awesome so you're looking for the update 1.01 .01 for this one uh, for the Kenworth T800 so make sure you grab that if you got the last one definitely grab it it's a uh, it's it's good because you need to have that fixed but look as you can see I'll show you the truck here it is there is the there's the map of Australia there and it I just realized it's back to front but <laughs> that's all right there it is it's the right way there but it's back to front there so I might have to look at fixing that I don't know we'll see um, and look there's the actual flag on the front there draping across and it goes all the way over the bonnet on the top it says proud Aussie on the very top there and if we can see a sneak peek up the back there I don't think we can but there's also the boxing kangaroo on there with a couple of Australian flags and proud Aussie on there as well we might see if I can remember uh, we'll have a look at that later but look the trailer here it actually actually has the Australian flag on there and it's to match the truck so proud Aussie there's the boxing kangaroo there's Australia and that's what is on the actual back of the truck as well so proud Aussie with the flags and also on the other side that looks awesome look let's get this on the road because I want to teach you guys some Aussie slang for Australia Day so um, also another thing you, that I forgot I did miss last week's weekly tour the weekly drive because of today Australia Day so I didn't mention anything but a couple people did actually say, oh, you missed it again. Well, look, here we are. Um, this is why. This is why, because I wanted to do a run with this truck. So, look, let's get on the road because I'm, I'm chuffed. I can't wait to drive this truck. I love this truck. I'm, I'm been driving it around a bit, and I think that this is actually going to be my new favorite truck, I think. The W900 is still a favorite of mine, but this one here is definitely in this game is definitely uh, an improvement on that truck so I really do like this truck definitely I'll be cruising around a lot more with it now it's a damn shame you can't use it in multiplayer now we've got to watch those revs now I've been I actually spoke to a truck driver the other day who plays this and he's also been driving the game with the revs you know going as as you should be you know the proper revs up to 15 um, and he's also been doing that as well so it's not just me who's actually driving it incorrectly it's seems to be a couple of other people as well so listen to that truck that is awesome 
We'll try and keep that revs down because I know that people get upset at me. <laughs> uh, and the brakes. Listen to that when we hit the brakes there. That's cool. This shouldn't be too heavy. We've actually got, is it 20 tons? Now, let's have a look. What's on the load? We've got Aussie thongs, and it's 20 tons of Aussie thongs. Uh, if you don't know what Aussie thongs are, Aussie thongs are shoes. They're flip-flops. They're things that you stick on your feet. But a good old Aussie thong is not just a matter of a stupid little flip-flop. More expensive, the better. No, it is the bloody cheapest things you can get. Two dollars. That's all you want to spend on a pair of thongs and a really good pair of thongs. Wouldn't waste any more because um, here we go. We're going um, because the you know the thongs they cop a lot of punishment. You know you slap your mate with it. You you go and chuck them at the dog. You you know you do all sorts of things. Some people even hit their kids with them, which is not right. I don't agree with that, but. You know, that's the sort of thing that uh, that happens here in Australia. Um, what else? You know, the thong, it can be used as a frisbee. The thong can be used as heaps and heaps and heaps of things. So, you know, a thong, people, is not a flip-flop. If you come to Australia and you call it a flip-flop, you'll get beaten to death with one. I swear. So uh, don't come, don't come to Australia and call it a flip flop. I'm warning you now. <laughs> right. So I was going. I was thinking since it's Australia Day, and look later on, I am going to be chucking not a shrimp on the barbie. We don't do that here in Australia. We don't waste good seafood like that. We are actually throwing a steak, and I have for myself a massive, massive, or for myself and my mate that is a massive steak it's it's like that thick uh, inch wise it's about an inch so <clears throat> it is nice and thick and juicy and here in Australia we love our steaks medium to rare and then uh, with all the blood still coming out of it you know you throw heaps of sauce on it and throw it in a slap it in a piece of bread and then away you go don't worry about any cheese don't worry about any lettuce or any of that rabbit food crap. Just bloody chuck it in a piece of bread and eat it with a bit of sauce, a whole shitload of sauce on there and eat it. Don't go complaining about it. Just bloody do it. All right? That's the attitude we have here in Australia. Don't go crying to your missus about it. Just bloody do it. So that's what we tend to do here. Just get on with the job. Right. I better stop this guy. Oh, no, he's bloody turning. What an ass. He's... Oh, shit. Did I stall it? I think I stalled it. I'm rolling backwards. That's why. Right. Get those revs up and off we go. And we'll try not to hit anything. I think if anything, all I'll, I might be a bit late because I grabbed the load and I went and got myself a beer. I already drank some of it. And, um... Yeah. So... <laughs> I forgot what I was doing, so I ended up, yeah, I might be a bit late, but that's all good. Well, I'm having fun. I don't really care as long as I have fun in this game. I don't care if I'm late or not. It's all good. Anyway, so, look, Australia Day. This is what I wanted to talk about, Australia Day. Look, it's on January 26th, and look, it commemorates the establishment of of the first European settlers in Port Jackson, Sydney in 1788. There's a little bit of history for you people if you didn't know that. If you want to do some more research on that, good on you. And bugger off to the uh, to Google, good old Google, and uh, check up some you know, more of Australian history because you know I'm sure that somebody out there wants to, uh, wants to learn about that. More than likely it's going to be Ben Crouch. You'll probably want to know all about that, Ben, so bugger off, mate. Go look at that. Oh, hang on. No, after the video, you can do that. How about that? <laughs> um, got to watch these gears. I'm too busy yakking. Uh, and that's a slang word there. Yakking means talking. Talking a lot. And that's generally what I do. I can't help it. It's something that I really do a lot of. Now, um, whoops. We're going off the side of the road. I don't want to dent this truck. Now, look... Uh, Aussie slang is how we talk in Australia. It's colourful, it's funny, it's downright rude to foreigners. And who do we call foreigners? 
Bloody hell, we call everybody foreigners. Anybody who's just over that little bit of ocean, we call a foreigner. And more than likely, most of you, you're all bloody foreigners. And uh, look, anything that I say in this episode, if it offends you, then go and get a dog up you because we don't care. Because it's Australia Day and that's it, you know, we don't give a shit. So bugger off if you don't like the way I'm talking. So uh, look, many of us, many of us use Aussie slang most of the time, but more so on Australia Day. So uh, help, just to help you foreigners out, I thought I would do some more slang. I'd do some slang for you. So here's a little, here's a few slang words, more than what I've actually used. So dunny, dunny is a slang word. What the hell's bloody dunny? Well, dunny is the toilet for all you foreigners who don't know. It's the toilet. I'm going out back to use the dunny, mum. All right, so that's basically how it goes. Cuppa. Cuppa. I'm going out to make myself a cuppa. That means cup of coffee or cup of tea. It's a cuppa. You know, you drink it. We shorten everything here in Australia. We basically don't care and as long as any of us can understand. Our mates can understand. Our mates, for example, are friends. So there's another slang word. Um, blue. A blue is a punch-up. Or you go and get, you know, some dude gets in a fight down at the pub. And that means, a uh, fight means blue. So, oh, fuck this shit. I'm going down to get in a fight. I'm going down to get in a blue at the pub. So, oops. Oh, shit, me keys are all screwed up. Oh, man, that's fucked. Um, anyway, so uh, that's, what, that's what a blue is. Blue is also the name of a good old trusty dog. Uh, namely a, a kettle dog. Uh, they're a, a good old working dog that we have here in Australia. Holy dooly! That is an expression when somebody's done something really stupid or you're surprised. You go, holy dooly! And then, you know, the, that's basically like, holy shit! Or something like that. But, you know, it's a, an expression of surprise. Now, what else? Nick off! Nick off, mate! That be, basically says for someone to get lost. Go away, piss off, that sort of thing. So it's more of a Australian way of saying it. Then we got no worries. No worries, mate. It's basically, she'll be right, no worries. It's basically, uh, look, that's, that's, I haven't got a problem in the world, mate. If we do this, it's no worries. You know, that's, that's fine. It's all good. Not a problem in the world. So that's basically what that is. Pig's bum. That's an expression where you say, Oh, mate, that's just bullshit. You know, like the pig's bum. That's just bullshit. You know, so it's disbelief or they don't believe what the hell you're saying. Rack off. There's another word for nick off. Uh, generally, the parents say that to their kids. They go, oh, rack off, you little pricks. Uh, or they say something else, but we're not going to say it. That's actually a really nasty word that they use here in Australia. It's a uh, C word, we call it. But I don't like that word at all. It's, um, it's very bad. So we won't use that. Whoops, watch that car. Um, now, what else? Uh, look, there's some phrases. Some phrases we can say. And is, have a go, you, have a go, you mug. And that basically means, get off your ass and give it a go. Don't just sit there going, oh, I don't know if I can do it. It's like, have a go, you mug. Get in there and give it your best shot. It's basically what it is. It sounds a bit rude, but it's not. It's not rude at all. A uh, bag of fruit. Well, a bag of fruit is a man's new suit. So his clothes that he wears. So, a man's suit and uh, the sentence for this, so you understand it, is uh, he went to a funeral in a new bag of fruit. So, it sounds pretty crazy, but that's, that's one of the expressions. Now, belt up. It's what the parents say to the kids when they're in the back of the car and they won't shut up. Just go... Belt up, you little bastards, or I'll come back there and smack you one. See, that's basically what the parents will say. Uh, what else have we got? Bloody oath. It's like, that is, that's the truth. So, bloody oath, mate. I couldn't believe what happened just then. You know, so that's, that's another expression. Uh, Bob's your uncle. So, basically, if you, basically, Bob's your uncle, if you do this... It will work. So, Bob's your uncle, mate. Just added uh, another bucket of water and she'll be right. So, 
that is basically saying add another bucket of water and it all will work well so that's basically we our expression of everything is it'll all be good just do it just get in there and do it that's basically the expression for everything here in Australia just get in there and do it now just climbing up this hill here it's a bit of a climb but I put my foot down and there we go see again too busy yakking and not not concentrating on what's going on now we're turning left here oops oh jeez bloody oath bloody hell I stole the truck again oh shit um, right let's go into low and can we go not yet we will wait for that truck he's probably a nice fella and g'day mate how's it going see that's how we greet each other in Australia get that gear up turn that round oi 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 right now we're back on the road again and the speed is 50 through here my chair keeps slipping back for some reason I don't know why probably because I'm yelling um wee watch my trailer mate don't scratch it now what do we got up here I'm gonna oh, 37 I'm gonna put my cruise control on 33 will do right uh, what else uh, got a nice turny road so that's gonna be a pain in the ass bonza mate so bonza mate uh, that is that's great so that's bonza mate I'm really happy for you so you know that's basically how it is yeah the expression there so uh, Chuck uh, Chuck a Yui so Chuck a Yui is basically um, oh mate I'm going just just go down to the pub and what we'll do is we'll chuck a Yui just out front at the intersection so that means you turn uh, so yeah Chuck a Yui is that one uh, crack a tinny oh that's my favorite oh so cracking a tinny is opening a cold frosty can of beer that's the one I love uh, so crack a tinny for me will you love so basically that's a guy asking his girlfriend his wife his missus his whatever to get him a beer out of the fridge crack it for him and hand it over which is what a lot of a lot of males generally do here in Australia oh geez love you wouldn't be able to crack us a tinny would you uh, and then they go no nah, fuck off get it yourself generally is how it goes don't be a lazy shit that's pretty much how it goes <laughs> although my missus is nice she goes Mrs. Senior, she goes, um, oh, yeah, would you like a beer? I said, oh, no thanks, I'll go grab it myself because she'll fuck my system up. She'll go fuck up my keg. <laughs> I do my own home brew, so she'll basically pull the tap and the tap will end up pouring too much beer and go all over the floor and I'll go, oh, bloody oath, what the fuck are you doing? You fucked me keg up. So all the beer will go all over the floor, so I just go, no, nah, she's right, love, I'll go get it myself. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh... Dinky die, dinky die. You can't get more true or genuine than true blue Aussie, dinky die Aussie, than that. So that is basically, dinky die is true, genuine as best you know. That's best you can get. So that bloke is pretty dinky die to me. What the hell's that? I have no idea what that noise was. Uh, never heard that before. So we'll just ignore it. It's all good. Um doing your block that is basically getting angry and really pissed off and the sentence that I would give for that one is that bloke is doing his block over spilt beer that bloke's doing his block over spilt beer now I would too I'd do my block over spilt beer because there's nothing worse than spilling your beer especially if you just grabbed a new cold one out of the fridge and you go and knock it you go oh what a bloody dickhead I spilt my own friggin' beer. So that's just stupidity, that is, and you just slap yourself down. Really? It's not acceptable. Spilling beer is not acceptable, folks. Now, what else? Um, don't get your knickers, whoa, don't get your knickers in a knot. Right? Don't get, don't get your knickers in a knot, love. She'd be right. So basically, don't get upset. It's all good. So 
if anyone says, if anyone's getting upset and, you know, what the hell's that noise? I've no idea what that noise is. Probably, was that somebody honking their horn? No idea. Anyway, if somebody says to you, if somebody starts chucking a fit and having a little, you know, tan temper tantrum, you say, don't get your bloody knickers in a knot. And that'll fix them up. Um, then what else have we got? We have a fair crack of the whip. Now, give me a go is basically the uh, what that means. And the sentence for that is, fair crack of the whip, mate. I'm doing my best. So that's pretty much how you'd say that here in Australia. Uh, fair dinkum. Uh, someone genuine. So that bloke is really fair dinkum. You know, so that's pretty, pretty good, that one. I like that one. Fair go, mate. So somebody wants to give you a go, you know, and they're giving you a bit of a hard time. You go, fair go, mate. You know, like, come on, get off my back sort of thing. Uh, whoa, whoa, we're going off the road there. Oh, we need to take a photo, don't we? So let's take a photo here. I like this place. We will turn on the road properly. There we go. Let's jump out, take a photo. Otherwise, I'm going to forget because I'm getting carried away with all these Aussie expressions. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I love it. That is awesome. Ah, that is absolutely wonderful. That truck and the trailer, it just looks wonderful. Now, we need to take one for YouTube as well. So let's back her up. And I'll see if I can spin it around like that. That way we can see everything a bit better. And there we go. Now, let's just take one like that as well. That's a nice close up there. That is really, really good. I like this one. This is actually probably one of my... Well, me personally, I think this is probably one of my better ones that I've done. So, you know, the junior senior one's not too bad. But um, I think I like this one best of all. There's not much you can do in it. Not much color change or anything because of the, the textures and that that I used. What? You're getting tired. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, right. You should find a place to rest. Jeez, the drive wasn't that long, was it? Well, maybe I was already tired when I started. Um, right. Let's have a look on the map and see where there's a place to rest. There's probably nowhere. Back of Burke, maybe? Back of Burke is uh, out out in the whoop-whoop, nowhere. What's that there? There's a resting spot just there. Oh, we should bugger off down there and take a rest, uh, don't you think? Probably... Uh, go over the limit but who cares screw it let's just do it go down there and take a rest I need to drink a beer anyway my mouth's getting pretty parched pretty dry it's bloody hot here today I tell you what I'm sweating like a pig yeah I gotta go fire up the barbecue soon too got me a nice big steak Beauty. Can't wait for that. Okay, so we can just jump up here and go for a little sleep. Wow, this is... Oh, I'm revving the guts out of it again. Here we go. There's wonderful scenery in this. It's absolutely awesome. Now, uh, with, in regards to... Yes, yes, I understand. I'm getting tired. I understand that. In regards to news for Euro Trucks, we are using patch 1.16 this time. We're actually using the beta. And we are using 64-bit. So I found that 64-bit is actually working a lot better on my system because it's not uh, chewing as much of resources. It's actually opened up more resources and recognizes my full 16 uh, gig of RAM so uh, not like the uh, other one used to only recognize I think it was 4 on 32 bit only recognizes 4 gig so if you want to if you've actually got where is it there's a resting point over there if you've actually got um, more than 4 gig of RAM then I suggest you grab the 64 bit because 
it is a lot better. Back up a bit. Yes, yes, I understand. We're getting tired. And there we go. We're just going to put the brake on there. E. And take a quick rest. I'm going to try to take some beer. Oh, drink some beer. I'm thirsty. Ah, oh, that's bloody good. And it's not Foster's either. We don't drink that shit here. We import all that piss water over to you guys in uh, in Europe and America and tell you, yeah, yeah, we drink that crap. Yeah, we'll tell you guys anything just to drink it. Oops, I had it in reverse still. Can I turn around here? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Give it a go, you mug. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty dark. I need to put my lights on. There we go. Should have had my lights on in the first place, I reckon. This inside of this truck looks bloody awesome. I mean, look at it. It is... I mean, no, I know it's dark. But inside of it, it looks awesome. And I absolutely love this truck. Oh, we got to we got to go in low. No, it's all good. Oh, we're struggling up these bloody thongs. I tell you what, these are the heaviest bloody thongs I've ever picked up. I, I reckon in my entire life. We pulling it up? Yeah, we're getting there. Twenty tons of thongs. There we go. Look, we got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a workhorse baby. Oh yeah, I love it. Love this truck. Oops. Oops. What's happened? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the bloody hell happened there? Oh, something's pulling us back. Oh no, there we go. We got it. Just have to give it a bit more rev. Sorry guys, got to rev the crap out of this thing. Right, we're turning here. For some reason, when I went to 64-bit, all my controls got messed around. So, there's a warning. If you're going to go to 64-bit, it may mess your controls around. So, you might have to just reset them again. Uh, which is no big deal. I just forgot to do that before we started the video. So, never mind. Shit happens, eh? Right. Off we go now. Hopefully we shouldn't be too far away from the uh, destination. Which will be bloody good. Now what else do we do on Australia Day? Well, Australia Day... You know, Australia Day is basically... Now, we get a public holiday. And it's mostly the... Well, the 26th is the actual day, Australia Day. But we don't always get to celebrate it on that day because every year it rotates around. We generally have, um, you know, it falls on a different day. So we always have the Monday off because uh, we don't want to go to work on Monday. No way. Stuff that. Screw that for a joke. That's, um, that's something we just de definitely don't want to do. So what we do is we have a public holiday. We try and get all our public holidays on Mondays. Because uh, nobody wants to go to work, to be honest. We just want to stay home and bludge. Bludge is another slang word, and that just is something you do when you're being lazy. You just don't want to do sweet F.A. You just want to lie there and do nothing. And I find that very hard to do, to be honest. But um, a lot of blokes tend to like doing that. Um, I even find it hard sometimes to sit down and, and drink a beer if I'm not doing something You know, it's it's uh, I got to keep doing things over and over and over again You know keep doing like YouTube YouTube keeps me pretty busy Especially the amount of videos I record and half you know a lot of them I don't even publish because they're shit uh, But never mind Shit happens. I Can't see back there. I can't see anything Never mind but uh, 
What else? Uh, some of the things that you generally do on Australia Day, other than bludging, uh, barbecue. That is pretty much the main thing that you do on Australia Day. You grab all your mates, have a barbecue, sit down, drink some beer, have a few yarns, yarns which means um, uh, stories, tall stories. So around the barbecue, drinking some beer with your mates is always a perfect time for telling a few yarns. Uh, you know, it's generally a fish story. You know, I went fishing. Oh, mate, you know, I went fishing and oh, I caught the fish and it was it was this big. And they're always saying, you know, it's it always ends up being bigger every time they tell us the, the bloody story. So it's uh, we call it odds. Oh, if somebody says. If somebody says, oh, oh, it's probably another one of those bloody fish stories, uh, that pretty much means that it's a tall story. Somebody's telling a tale, a whopper, you know, something like that. Bullshitting, uh, you know, same thing. Oh, that's bullshit, mate. You know, that means they don't believe what you're saying. More than likely, if you say that to someone, they get pretty upset. They go, oh, don't you believe what I'm saying? You go, nah. <laughs> it's most people just bullshit to you. <laughs> ah, but it's all good. Yeah, your good mates tell the truth. And they tell you how it is. And that's what I like. Just tell it how it is. You know, I'm not going to get offended. We don't get offended too easily. It's no point. It's a waste of time. It's too hot here in Australia to worry about bloody, you know, getting upset over nothing. Just sit down and have another coley. It'll be all good. Uh, looks like the destination's not far up there. You know, not far, not too far to go. Hey, we're slowing down. Lion. Oh, I think I was revving the crap out of that truck then. Brakes on. There we go, look at that. I'm going to have some beer while I'm waiting for this traffic light. Ah, here we go. Like the Germans, we love our beer. Yeah, it's great. You go out and you go, shit, we got to turn. You go out and you work in the backyard and you, you, or you have a hard day and there's nothing better than having a cold beer, cold tinny waiting there for you. Real cold. The colder the better. And if there's fr frost or ice hanging off that, you know it's bloody cold. <laughs> and that's what you want. You want to know it's cold. Right. So we are just... Oh, shit. I'm just revving the crap out of this truck. Sorry. Man, that's... Oh, bad of me. Yeah, there we go. I don't have heaps of people... Getting upset at me this time, saying, "Seeing you, you're driving the truck like a drongo. Uh, drongo is like dickhead." Well, sorry guys, but you know it's hard talking and uh, it's hard talking and driving, and I sometimes forget when I'm driving. Normally, I don't do that. I Trent, I really like to stick to the actual the revs. Right, and is it in here? Yes, it is. Take it nice and wide and swing it around. Hook it, hook it in there, and then we will hook it in here as well. All right, that's what we want. Get that up there, nice and neat. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, here in Australia, look, we're, we're not racist, not half. We hate everyone equally. So, um, yeah, we're racist against no one. And if anyone tells you any different, tell them to get a dog up them. Because uh, we're not racist at all. I think... Oh, yeah, that's in. That's in. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. We're late. Who gives a shit? We delivered the goods. Should be right, mate. So only a couple of hours. That's only six hours and eleven minutes late, but that's all good. She'll be right. Whoa, man, that truck looks good. Right, let's go back out here. Get that into gear. Jump out because oh, I love the look of this truck, even though it's dark and I can't see shit. 
Right. Well, look, there we go, guys. That is the actual, the uh, Australia. That's the Australian skin that I did. I said I was going to do one ages ago, but I thought, look, what a better time than Australia Day. We'll get that Australia, you know, Australia Day skin there. Look, I might even throw a couple more in there as well and make a little pack out of it. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. But uh, I want to do a, a trailer pack, an Aussie trailer pack, where we have Aussie beer like VB. Um, for you foreigners, uh, Fosters, because uh, we want to export that shit as fast as possible. We don't like it. Uh, Forex, I know there's a, a fair few people who drink that stuff, but uh, I don't know what's wrong here. That tastes like goat's piss to me. But um, I like a more heartier beer, a beer from Victoria. Even though I'm from Queensland, I, I love VB. A very strong, hearty beer. That's what I like. But anyway, anyway, YouTubers. That's it from me. Keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, get a dog up ya! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we have where I play Mortimer, a very seriously killing game. And just under that, we play the brand new Resident Evil in high definition. And if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching YouTubers and remember, game on!